me, it's just a no-brainer on the importance of doing whatever we can to uh, get these film industry back here and, and supporting them and keeping all these local people here. It's definitely, it's definitely a win-win for everybody. I think they're a positive effect for sure. They're bringing in uh, opportunities for business that we wouldn't have in a normal day. Think about all of the places that have to eat, sleep, drink. That is a direct, instantaneous push on the economy. That couldn't happen without the film industry. It's like when the wave comes up on the beach, you don't know where it's gonna go, but you know it's, it's gonna go somewhere. And they bring this influx of money into our businesses, into our individuals, and it makes a difference. It, it leaves the economy here that we wouldn't have otherwise. I always keep coming back to Texas just because of the independence and the, uh, the freedom to do what you wanna do. It rewards creativity and individualism. And uh, I found that in other places like in LA and Nashville, uh, that wasn't the case. From the days of the Alamo to uh, Willie and Wayland, it's, you can do what you really feel in your heart in Texas. That's why I keep coming back. So I opened in September of 1996, and uh, literally probably after nine months, I almost had to close down. The support of the town just wasn't there, and then production started in April. I mean, everything just flipped. It dramatic on paper, you could just tell the impact of once they started filming, and you know, again, my business, spiked and just got me over that hump of, of, of getting here. They're very supportive of the community. They're trying to be minimally disruptive and that's one of the, the big things that I've noticed as a business person. The film industry really bends over backwards to make sure that they're not very disruptive of people's day-to-day -day activities and necessities. Being a business owner in, in uh, Austin in particular, when films come in, it absolutely boosts my local business. I know that when Friday Night Lights was here filming, and uh, uh, now that the leftovers are, are here as well. It can't help but affect the local economy, obviously. They'll come back. If they like the location, the people are friendly, they'll come back. Everybody, you know, takes away something from it. Even other business like retail and things like that just see much better numbers because of the number of people that are actually here. Their construction crews and everybody have been just excellent to deal with. They come in, they're polite, they're easy to talk to. I work with their billing departments, getting all the bills to them been first rate, haven't had any problems, and so it's, it's been a, a good experience for us, an outside entity coming in and buying from us that everything is taken care of in a, in a good business manner. The money I made, I spent here in town, you know, at the grocery store, at the cleaners, at the gas station, so it's wonderful for a small town to have that revenue come in. We have people coming into town that would never be in Lockhart if it weren't for a movie being here. And I even had one person in one day say, well, the movie hasn't done anything for me. And I said, well, maybe it has and you're not aware of it. Because they're spending money with me. And I'm paying my employees. And we go out and we buy gas and we buy groceries and we buy auto parts. And we do different things that that money came from the movie industry. You know, Tree of Life spent millions of dollars in town. You know, they fix everything, make everything better when they leave. And then we get the residuals after that when people are still coming to town because they want to see where it was filmed. I mean, it's a win-win for everybody. So it's not just necessarily when the production is town. I mean, it lingers on, I mean, like I said, 20 years. I still have people coming in town to see the Hope Float stuff. We had at least two different people flying from out of state, stay with us, and propose to their sweetheart, either at the gazebo or at the Hope Floats house. Even would ask permission if they could get up on the, on the porch of the house, because that was their first date that was a, a romantic night for them seeing the movie, so it brought back lots of good feelings. Then it has an effect in our community and further out than our community, because we visit with a lot of the carpenters and the crew uh, set builders, and they come from all over. They're not just from Lockhart, they're from Canyon Lake, they're from Austin, they're from San Marcos and stuff. So you can see that this, this economic impact is spreading out in that nice wide circle that you want it to go to here in Central Texas. I did an uh, independent uh, short film uh, called Yellow Rose, but it, it is a Texas uh, director. Because of uh, the, the non-incentives, it wasn't easy to do here. We are having to film some of it in New York. No, they have to go to New York, it kind of hurts. We, as just casual observers on the periphery of it, every year hold our breath until the legislative session is over, hoping, hoping, hoping that that incentive money will be there so that we can greet these people back into our community. I always felt like uh, 
the people in, at the Capitol had our back as far as independent anybody to do what you want to do, and that's been the prevalent thing to make you Texas proud. The red tape keeps getting more and more and more. Don't put a roadblock up. Help a Texan out. They know how to